Hi, it's Jim Miller of Miller Travel and Adventures and Cruise Planners bringing you our latest video. We're here in Fort Lauderdale at the Embassy Suites the night before our cruise on the Sky Princess. In our latest video, we thought we'd bring you a way to save money while cruising. So we're going to be getting on the Sky Princess tomorrow and we'll bring you all the details of uh, the ship and everything you can do. As you can see next to me, we have a nice little suitcase packed with uh, soda and water. Princess Cruises is one of the few cruise lines that allow you to bring on at embarkation day, so just the beginning day only, allow you to bring on uh, non-alcoholic beverages. So we have uh, some sodas and some big bottles of water to bring on because as I said, we're gonna see if we can show you how to do a cruise and save some money. So we did not purchase a drink package on this cruise. We're gonna do it old school and bring our own stuff on. So we're gonna try that and we'll be back on the next part of the video to show you uh, the boarding process for Princess and of course the ship and all of its uh, things that you can do without adding costs to your trip. One of the things that's changed dur during COVID, during the porting process, is you've got to print out your own luggage tags now at home and bring them with you. So as you notice, there's a little arrow pointing to scotch tape. You need something to fix them together. So make sure you do that because as you're dropping them off here at the cruise terminal, you need to have that luggage tag so that the cruise line can get your luggage there. Uh, sometimes people talk about tipping. Um, yeah, we gave the porter $5. I think it's important um, for their livelihood and make sure your bags get up there. Here's me in the checkout check-in lane here carrying the suitcase full of soda and water. Yep, it was very simple. Put it up on security. They didn't say a word, went through the scanner, and off we were to our room. The check-in process for Princess is really good. It's one of the best we've had. Um, they're very organized. You actually pick your time on your app before you get there and we always pick the earliest because why not get on the ship enjoy lunch your cabin won't be ready but that doesn't really matter because you can have that they have the medallions this is Boris by the way he's modeling for you the medallions are really cool they are little medallions no more key cards on princess you wear them you can have a lanyard which is free we purchased these little uh, clip-ons for eight dollars each and they were great the clip-on as you can Boris is demonstrating the clip right onto your shirts uh, his sweater and uh, this is the way you get around and do anything on the ship you don't even have to open your door i'll show that as we go my wife's getting tech savvy now and we're zooming through the hallway here we had a very long hallway because we were back towards the back of the ship as you walk up to your door it literally springs the door open and there it is it turns green on the handle and you walk right in it's really nice you don't have to wave a key or fundle around for a key in your pocket or anything else our cabin is pretty standard. It's a uh, deluxe balcony, but just so you know, we started and paid for an inside cabin, the cheapest category. And then what Princess does along with all the other cruise lines is if they're not full, they're gonna offer you an upgrade offer. You should take it. If you can, you, you bid on it and we can help you with that process. We got it for the cheapest amount and we were able to upgrade to a deluxe balcony. There's our friends, Bear approved. The bed was really nice. It's a standard cabin. One of the things I want to point out, though, is the only outlets on the entire cabin are right on the desk. So if you have any electronics that you need to plug in by your bedside, make sure you bring an extension cord. Although our steward did say, ask if we needed a cord, but it's really good to have one. We ran ours under the bed and we're able to plug it in at night. There's a fridge. It's an empty fridge, which is great. So there's no mini bar or anything to get in the way. It's an empty fridge, which we loaded with all the soda and water that we brought. The bathroom is pretty standard, is what you would expect. Decent storage for your, uh, uh, your toiletries, but uh, the one thing that I really wish Princess would do is to get rid of the shower curtains and put in glass shower doors. Uh, the shower was great in terms of water pressure, um, but the shower curtains are, are getting a little old, and I think that most of the cruise lines, as they update their ships, have been going to glass doors. So we hope that Princess will do that uh, sooner or later, because uh, that's it's a little bit nicer than having that shower curtain. The closet was nice and large, lots of place for hanging, not so much for storing, uh, just a few shelves you can see and a safe in the, in the little closet uh, container there. Um, wish they had a little bit more drawers to put things in, but you know, overall nice cabin. 
As we said, Princess is really going uh, all in on electronics. So you, the Princess Travel app is really important and really fun. It has everything you need. So get app savvy. If you're not, then we can help you with that. Uh, we meet with clients and do that either over the phone or in person if we can. Um, you can check your journey. In other words, what's going on every night. They still have the Princess Patter, the newspaper that you deliver, but you can also uh, get get it on the app here and see what's going on. The coolest thing is ordering any kind of food or drink on the in the ship, any area of the ship, any room service. Now, the drinks cost, unless you have a drink package. We did not do that on this one, but there was a lot of food, and we were able to get food delivered, room service to our room, no charge, and anywhere on the ship, and they would find you because the app knows where you are. So one night we were uh, having a little trivia, and we were hungry. It was 6.30, and we didn't want to go down to the dining room, so literally we ordered some food to be brought to our table uh, while we were playing trivia, and lo and behold, there it is, complimentary, zero balance. A burger and a hot dogs and fries and uh, we uh, had it sent down and they delivered it right to our table for no charge so really kind of cool it's your basic ordering it has sandwiches and hot dogs hamburgers pizza all kinds of good things you can order anywhere on the ship so if you're just sitting in a lounge somewhere and you feel like a snack go ahead and order it on your app they'll bring it to you and there's absolutely no charge uh, for that um, there's some upgraded options of course if you want to get fancy but uh, the regular food is not. In fact, here's the Princess Live. This is where all the trivia and game shows. We had a ball in this place. And yes, we had snacks delivered and food delivered here uh, quite often. We'd also go up to the uh, buffet and get some drinks and bring them down. Or we'd bring drinks from our own refrigerator. Here's the Princess Theater. Uh, the, all the shows are included and no cost to them. And no cost for reservations or anything. You just show up. They had a comedian. Uh, they had a couple comedians. Uh, magician they had some uh, violinist and some um, different singers and things throughout the cruise our favorite though was movie under the stars almost all the big cruise lines offer this and it's just fun it's included it doesn't cost anything they have popcorn included um, it's by the way ps it's right by the ice cream place that's the free ice cream and as you can see it was really really cold um, but you know what we bundled up and they brought us tons of blankets and uh, we enjoyed that and uh could have ordered some food, but we jumped over and got some ice cream, even though it was freezing out uh, because it's included. And we had a great time and enjoyed a couple movies there. This is the uh, World Fresh Marketplace, which is their buffet. Nothing special about it. It's a great buffet as, as on all cruise lines. But what was really cool about it is, is here's where your complimentary drinks are. So here is we have complimentary regular coffee, hot chocolate, ton of choices for hot tea, and um, you could get milk. You could get uh, orange juice. And then the cool thing is, is that's a water filling station. So we brought our water bottles and we often filled them up to go work out or have water in our cabin. Um, it's just great. So you have all those options here and now that none of it costs. And yes, you can take it with you anywhere on the ship, back to your cabin, down to trivia, wherever. And you can take all of that with you. Uh, so no problem coming up and getting something to drink for free and bringing it to your places. This is a salty dog, which is their pool grill similar to everything else, of course, included. So, um, and this is where they send food from the app. So if you uh, order, you know, your burgers and stuff, they'll send it to you. In fact, if you're at the pool and you don't want to get up, just click on your app and uh, a few short minutes later, you'll be there. Oh, here's our favorite place. This is Swirls, the free ice cream. They do have gelato for sale um, at other place, but this is the free one for soft serve ice cream. We visited her a lot. In fact, she kind of knew our orders but there's cones and you can get in a cup too alfredo's pizzeria is another included uh place to eat it is there's no upcharge at all they make really amazing fresh pizzas and calzones they have italian salads and all kinds of other things along with dessert no cost to that you can make a reservation but we never had any trouble getting in and just showing up we do eat a little early though it just depends on that but you can make a reservation you want no charge oh there it is my wife's pint pineapple pizza. Ooh, ah, I can't stand that. Estrella dining room is one of the three dining rooms that is included. No charge for this. This is a great place to eat. And we came down here because we got, we had a really wonderful waiter that we enjoyed each night. Didn't make reservations, didn't book it. We just walked in every night, went right to a table. They had really great choices and great food. Um, they had some upgrade options you could buy, but there's really no re reason to. It's just, it was really nice and the food was really good. So uh, I encourage you to eat there uh, um, many nights. 
This is the Vista Lounge. If you're elite high level on the ship, you can get on down here and they do an a evening uh, little hors d'oeuvres each evening. You can come down and do that. This is the International Cafe. It's open 24 seven and has great desserts, great donuts in the morning, but you gotta get there before 11. And then they have paninis and sandwiches, a ton of them. And those are all included and it's 24 seven. You can go get one of those. Also, we decided not to book any excursions. So we just went into port and walked around. So this is a uh, Funcho uh, Madeira and uh, it's just beautiful. We spent the day just walking around, enjoying everything. Well, I'm not gonna lie. We did, did get some uh, gelato and I'll tell you what, here's what we did. We scavenged for all of our loose euros, coins that we've had from past trips, put them in a baggie. And yes, we had enough coins to buy gelato. Yeah, I'm not sure the lady at the gelato stand was real happy with all of our coins, but you know what? They spend, and uh, so for us, it was kind of free ice cream because in all honesty, this was just stuff that we had brought back from previous trips. We threw it a drawer and we figured it out. So uh, yeah, you can enjoy that. And yep, there's Kathy with the gelato. She makes her appearance other than behind the camera. And so Princess Cruises on a budget. Well, we started with buying the basic inside cabin, cheapest cabin you could buy. And then we took advantage of all the free things on board. It was a beautiful ship. You can see all kinds of things to do, all kinds of fun thing activities to do, whether it was going to a show, free show every night, two times a night, this was the magician, or going to do trivia or having food sent to our room, which was um, free. They had musicians in the atrium here, along with line dancing and all kinds of activities, all included. It was a really fun time. And by the way, at the end, our bill was zero. We did have a casino on board and we did shoot a separate video for the casino for those of you who like to gamble. But we had a great time. We had a zero bill. So why don't you give us a call, send us an email, check out our website. We would love to work with you on a cruise of any expense doesn't really matter. Thanks for watching and look forward to our next videos on Regent Seven Seas Splendor and our casino video. Thank you so much.